So I want to bring you back for a moment to when I first started to practice law in the courts in New York. I had no one to talk to, no one to talk to. There were no other female trial attorneys. There were very few women coming to court. Uh, there were very few women judges. If I had a problem, I had to invent a solution myself. And I'm limited, and I was limited by my imagination and my experience, and I really had no experience. What a forum like the Women in Leadership means to me is that not only are we women given a voice, but we're given an opportunity to share our experiences, our knowledge, our solutions, and come up with better ideas. So we're not walking into, opening a door and walking into a dark room. We're opening a door and there's some light Resources. there so we can see exactly what we have to do. Well, the feeling has changed dramatically over the years. I tried my first case in 1977, and I was the only, quote unquote, girl in the courtroom at that time. I went into the courtroom, there were 200 men there. The judge said to me, Miss Turchin, why don't you come up front? And I clip clopped in my little high heels, I was 23 at the time, up to the front, and he said, I just want to see your legs. So that's how my career in the law started. Um, it did not go so well for the first couple of years. It was exactly the same. I had trials with men who laughed when I brought in cases. I had uh, jury selections where the men made fun of me. I had one case where I had three mistrials in a row because the attorneys insisted upon making remarks about me personally being a girl and whether the jurors were going to bend over backwards for me. So eventually that changed. More women started to come into the court. Uh, more women started to try cases. Plus, I started to get a reputation as a hard hitter. I mean, once you win one case after the next, the men stop laughing and start worrying because they had to go back to their insurance companies and explain why was this girl mm -hmm. killing them on all the cases. Mm -hmm. The second thing was, was that the jurors liked me. A lot of the men were dinosaurs. They had um, patterns that they used constantly on cases. And I was from Brooklyn. I was trying cases in Brooklyn. I related to the people in Brooklyn. I tried cases in Queens. They were no different. And in Manhattan, they were no different. And again, I did well in front of the jurors. I wasn't making up stories. I wasn't carrying on. There were no histrionics. I just talked. Um, that was the beginning. Obviously, we're fast forwarding 40 years. It's very different now. Although at times, many of the organizations that I belong to are very male-centric. And the women are not necessarily listened to. I will say something, and some male will repeat it as though it's his idea, or explain it as though I did not explain it well enough. And I know I sat there and I used the same words that this man did, but somehow they feel that it's necessary to repeat my words. What that means to me, as far as playing catch up, is that women have to start earlier. We have to start with our girls, telling them that they are the best, that they can compete, that they don't have to step back. And I think that's what our goal should be empowering girls as early as possible with the knowledge that they're not taking second place. They have as the right to be first from elementary school through law school and into the courtroom. Mm -hmm.